Hello Avid Royal Watchers and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Meghan Markle is reportedly mad about a perceived double standard in how Kensington Palace treats its royal woman, and she may be onto something. Last week, the British society Mag Tatler ran a cover story about Kate Middleton, headlined Catherine the Great. Almost immediately, though, Prince William and the royal family took issue with a swathe of inaccuracies and false representations in the article going so far as to send legal letters to the mag to remove the story from the internet altogether. Whoa. That's all fine and good for Kate's reputation, perhaps, but Meghan apparently took issue with it almost immediately. After all, Prince Harry's wife was hounded by the British tabloid press for years with nearly a peep from the palace. Sources told DailyMail.com about Meghan's frustration this week, pointing out the deluge of negative press that's largely what led to Master Archie's mom and dad quitting royal life altogether, after all. One insider revealed more, saying, Meghan said Kensington Palace never once came to her defense when she was being shredded by the media. Now Kate gets a bit of negative press and the palace comes out in less than 24 hours to rebuke the claims made against her. Yeah, no kidding, of course, it may not help that the journalist who wrote the title piece apparently has direct ties to Meghan, so maybe the palace was a bit more motivated than usual to nip things in the bud. Regardless, the insider continued on, revealing how Harry's desire for media sanity fell on deaf ears, apparently up until right now. This is really a slap in the face for Harry, because he repeatedly asked for an updated revised media policy or at least a conversation about his concerns. All fell on deaf ears and then Kate comes along, snaps her fingers and gets an outpouring of support. Meghan says it's just so telling. She explained this was one of the main reasons why she and Harry had said their goodbyes to the royal life. The lack of support and the complete disregard for the pain and anguish Meghan suffered while being crucified by the media. Rather than backing her, Meghan was made to feel like she was asking too much, expecting too much, when all she wanted was support from the powers that be. Support they quickly gave to Kate, then as the family blasted the title story's details and circled the wagons in defense of William's wife, Meghan and Harry, once again, left on the outside looking in. Alas. Speaking of the outside looking in, one insider, insider noted how, even before the title piece, things hadn't exactly been warm and welcoming between Meghan and her fellow royal wife. Meghan said on her last trip to England, Kate barely said two words to her, and then it's absolutely preposterous for her to start playing the blame game. After all the people in the royal family, Meghan said she had hoped to develop a close relationship with Kate, but was never given the chance. It was hurtful and disappointing for Meghan. Kate never gave her the benefit of the doubt or reached out to her when she was at her lowest, struggling to adjust with very few friends. Had the roles been reversed, Meghan said she would have gone out of her way to make Kate feel part of the family. She would have embraced their sisterhood. Hmm. Do y'all think that the last part is really true though, precious listeners? Seems like it's just something that's easy for Megan to say now, you know? Still, it sounds like the divide between the two high-profile women is as deep as ever, and then some. That is all for today's news, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next video.